here we go. Full freight brew run. Cannonball on this AM bike. Well, enduro bike, AM, much more AM. The plan is to try and beat the road, best road tech time, downhill time I've ever done. So, this is trail versus downhill on a downhill trail. Let's see how we go. Yep, so this is my Rotec RL9. Nine inches of travel on the back. A nice eight inches of travel on the front. Um, on the front, I'm running a um, Fox 40 Kashima. Um, pretty nice and buttery smooth. On the back, I'm running a RockShox Vivid RC2. Um, running them pretty, pretty soft, nice and soft. Front and back, I'm running uh, Maxxis Minion 2.5 tyres, um, Hope, Hope wheels, um, it's a pretty nice beast. Brakes, I'm running um, Shimano Z's with um, SRAM group set. All in all, it's, um, it's a bike that weighs about 20.5 kilos, so it's a pretty heavy bike, but very efficient to pedal, being um, a law wheel design frame. Um, had this bike for oh, roughly six or so years, and um, pretty much it's uh, just thrash it downhill and it eats anything you put in its path. So, pretty much the best time I've done on this bike, which was probably last year, is not that fast compared to other people. I mean, like the fastest person on that does a cannonball record I know is about just over five minutes, I think it's five minutes seven, uh, which is very, very quick. Um, my best time is an eight minutes and three seconds recorded on Strava. Um, so my goal is, as you can see currently riding here, I'm riding my, um, my trail bike, is to try and beat the time on my Rotec. So pretty much this trail bike that I'm riding currently here is um, is the Ibis Mojo carbon fiber frame, Ibis Mojo, Mojo HD3. Um, I'm pretty happy with it to be honest. Um, it weighs oh, about 13.5 kilos. It's um, on the rear. It's running a Rock Shock um, Monarch um, RC3 Air Shock. Um, and on the front, it's running a um, Rock Shocks Pike RC2. Um, I weigh about 75 kilos, so I've got them pumped up pretty hard. On the back, I'm running about 200 psi, and on the front, I'm running 72 psi. And it's a pretty firm setup, but I thought I'd like to run it a bit firmer for this trail, so I don't um, bottom out and I don't have um, too many diving problems. So. Wheel set, I'm running um, um, Hope wheel set front and back. It's uh, Hope Pro Evo 4 hubs with, um, oh. with 35 wide oh, rims man. and attached to that other wide trail Max's Minions. Uh, running about tubeless, you're running tubeless, running about 22 PSI on the front and 25 oh. PSI on the back. Yeah, pretty happy with the grip and the setup with that. Um, running a full XT grip set and running Saint brakes on this bike. And didn't have any issues with control. Probably could have gone a little, little bit faster. Um, I think previous to this current run that you're watching, I've done the Flow Trail twice. I've done the AM Trail once and I've done the... Um, Ricochet once, and now I'm hitting the um, the DH. Oh no, and I hit the DH once before this time as well. So I've done four or five runs before I've hit this. Have, have trying to go at full ball and trying to be, beat my um my fastest Rotec time, my fastest DH time. So um at the bottom of this, you'll see. Um, I think the trail has changed a little bit since last year, which wouldn't be exactly fair, but I guess it gives me a rough idea on how well I went. And I think the bottom section, when you get right to the bottom, you see the berms open up pretty big. Where last year, I think the berms, I'm not sure if the berms were that big. I have to go back and watch my last year's video of the run. So yeah, um, this is one of my favourite trails, Threadbow Cannonball. I like. 
I like doing DH. My other favourite trails is um, JJ's DH in Galston. Murnavale DH. Murnavale in Sydney. Um, I really enjoy riding over rocks. I'm not the fastest at it, but yeah, I really do enjoy the roughness of it. Um, I should mention that this bike I'm riding here, the trail, trail bike, the Ibis Mojo HD3 is 27 and a half up, so it does have slightly bigger wheels, I don't know if I mentioned before, than the, um, the Rotec RL9, which is 26 up. Um, so, that may help a little bit in wheel size, but I don't think it should make too much of a difference. I'm going to come up to the jump shortly. The, the doubles, it used to be um, one big tabletop, um, the one coming up around this next couple of birds. Um, this is where a couple of weeks ago my friend Dave, I don't know if you saw in the last, last turbo video I put out, or the one before that, um, had a bit of a crash. And, um, did the first jump and then tried to bail the second one. Um, but he really doesn't have any tread on his tyres and he just fully slammed it and managed to um, put a hole in his glove and put some good gravel rash on his brand new jersey on the back but other than that he, um, he came through pretty unscathed um, my nephew Matthew also the year before last broke his arm on that double that just that is still there and he um, just sent it and uh, did not land well Looks like there's, there's a fast line through the centre there, which I might try next time. Um, I might have to stop at some parts and um, have a look and find some, some faster lines. But this is generally the, the line I always take if I'm going to ride the ride, ride the cannonball. Um, I'm not really much of a line finder, I'm more of a just ride sort of person, but I should uh, stop and look at, at some lines and ways to go a bit quicker. Oh, I missed the jump. I missed the jump there. That was, that was a few seconds lost as well. Um, so yeah, all in all, um, the fastest time I believe on Cannonball is really quick. It's like a five minutes and seven. So I guess that puts me in the um, average riding group. My fastest time on my Rotec on this um, Cannonball run is um, 8 minutes and 3 seconds, so that's about, that's 3 minutes slower than the fastest person, so that's pretty slow, but that's my fastest, um, going, going as fast as I can go, so in 8 minutes and 3, Ooh. so yeah, the fastest time that I'm, um, well the only time I've got really on my um, Ibis Mojo, my trail bike, is um, and 8 minutes and 12 seconds, so that's 9 seconds slower than my DH bike. I would like to say though, that riding my DH bike I can ride Cannonball over and over again back to back and not feel too tired, but riding the trail bike all the way down, just this time, I was totally exhausted. So even though the times are quite similar, the, um, the riding experience is quite different. Alright, catch you for another video in another time. Alright, Juice Smith signing out. So yeah, I've decided to um, try the big jump up the top for the cannibal run. Ooh, a little bit scared, but um, I'm going to give it a go. Not sure how fast to go on it, so we'll see. And <laughs> see how badly I case it. Far her out, need more speed, so round two. Oh, that felt better. Could have gone a bit quicker, eh?
way quicker.